Hello everybody. It's been such a long time, but here we are. Welcome back to my channel. Just wanted to come at you guys today with a, I guess you want to call it an initial review on Garner's Garden um, five-step facial wash. Um, yeah, so stay tuned guys. So we'll talk about the first step here, just the antibacterial facial cleanser, um, oil cleansing method. And, uh, you know, this product contains neem oil, which is a powerful and helpful oil, promotes skin health. Um, and it feels really, really good on the skin. Um, no complaints. Um, and it's even good for people with oily skin like myself. So. Step two is the mineral, mineral scrub, and this contains coconut and palm oil that seals in the moisture. This you want to just use maybe two times a week. Don't want to overextend because you don't always have to exfoliate your skin, um, but it feels great. Um, step three is the facial toner, um, and this is their purest form of witch hazel. Um, and this fights eczema, refreshes the skin. I suffer from eczema bad and um it's supposed to work for that so and step four and five is your face oil day and night and this is just packed with vitamin c d and e um obviously the one with the white top is the day oil and the black top is the night oil the night oil is a little bit heavier i feel um and it's something that i wouldn't wear during the day so yeah so just starting off with a freshly not clean face, didn't cleanse, didn't do anything to it. It's just my skin. And I'm going to start off with step one, which is the antibacterial facial cleanser. And what you want to do is shake it up every time you use it. So this is my third time using these, pro these products. And I will say that it does feel really, really nice on the skin. It leaves my skin very moisturized, never dry. Feels really good. And you want to put just a desired amount, whatever amount you feel is good for you. And you want to rub your hands together and just apply that all over your face as if you're cleansing your face or washing your face. Um, I know a lot of people with oily skin is like, how am I going to wash my face, you know, cleanse my face with oil? My skin is already oily. But... Um, it's not so much you rinsing your face with just any oil. You have to use the right oils for your skin. And I feel like this doesn't leave my skin oily or greasy. It just really leaves it moisturized. So you just want to make sure you really put that onto the skin. Rub it in as if you're using soap. Cleanse, you know, area I'm focusing on my eyebrows a lot because that's usually what I do. I put my eyebrows on. Um... So I'm really focusing around that area. Focus on your chin, your neck, behind the ears and stuff like that. Just make sure this, you know, you really saturate your skin with this oil. Um, and yeah. Again, just get all in there eyes, everything. You don't have to worry about it getting in your eyes or burning. It's really, really nice. And then after you do this, you just want to rinse your face. Just showing you guys a close-up of my skin. Then you just want to throw some water on your face, rinse it off as much as you can, and that's it. So after that, after you rinse, you know, just grab a towel, paper towel, t-shirt, whatever you want to use, and just dab your face, wipe it, however you just want to remove some of that excess water off of your skin. And at this point, your face should feel really smooth, just really, really smooth to the touch feels moisturized, clean. So now step two is your detox uh, mineralizing 
face mask. Again, you're not going to use this every day. I would say two to three times a week, depending on your skin type. But even so, I would just, you know, bring it down to about two times a week. Um, and yeah, this is with the coconut oil and the palm oil. And this is what it looks like. It's like a mousse almost. Like, like it's been whipped or something. And what you want to do is just place it on your face. You don't want to really rub it in yet. You don't want to start the exfoliating process. You just want to place it on your face like a mask. Um, avoid your eye area, of course. And just spread it around the skin, spread it around your face, everywhere that you want it. If you want it just in certain spots to exfoliate, you can, but I'll put it all over my face, over my nose, above my lip, um, across my forehead. Just put it all over the face. Again, you're not exfoliating at this point. You're just placing it on the face for now and creating an even layer. And you should also bring it down to part of the neck area. I know a lot of people tend to forget about that area. Um, you know, just bring a little bit of the product down by your neck, under your chin and stuff and just rub it, you know, place it on there. Nice little thin layer, nothing crazy. Perfect. And now what you're going to do at this point is you're going to do the exfoliation. So you're going to splash a little bit of water on your face and you're going to rub at the same time. And at this point, it should look like this. And you're just going to keep rubbing it in all over the face. If you need to, you know, add more water, you can. But this part, you want to start exfoliating around the nose, around the forehead, your T-zone where it's a little bit oily, under the chin. Um really scrub the areas that are acne prone. So like for me, it would be like my forehead, like lower part of my cheeks, etc. And then you wanna just rinse it off. Make sure you get it all off the face. And now at this point, my skin is like really feeling good. Like, as you can see. And then again, you just wanna dab, wipe some of that excess water off. And then we're going to move on to the next step. I'm not going to lie, you guys. This is such a simple process. Not so much to do. Not using a washcloth or anything like that. You can if you'd like, but I like to just use my hands. I feel like I could work it better with my hands and I'm not tracking so much dirt. And then, see? Nice and smooth. Feels plump. So now we're going to do uh, step three, which is our facial toner. And this is supposed to be the purest of purest toners out there. Um, Nothing added, just pure witch hazel, no smell to it. And you want to shake that up just a little bit. And then, you know, I would rather use a cotton pad than a cotton ball, only because you don't have like those little hairs popping off of it and stuff like that and shredding off. And then just go all around your face. T-zone area, if you have any spots, any pimples that are coming up, you know, make sure you focus on those areas the most to dry them out on your neck or behind your ears and this is just going to pull away you know excess makeup that we may have missed dirt that we may not have gotten out um you know just making sure that the face is completely clear of anything see that little booger Ugh. yeah just want to focus on there and again behind the ears just making sure we got all the dirt off of the skin. And I think I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like. Not too bad, but as you can see, I didn't get all the spots, so that picked it up. 
And now while your face is still a little damp, you want to add your facial oil, your day facial oil. If you guys are doing this at night, then you use your night oil. Um, I was actually on my way to work when I filmed this, so I'm using my normalizing face oil for the day. And you literally want to shake it up. Shake it, shake it, shake it. And literally one pump. <laughs> and just dab it on the face and rub it in. Rub it in everywhere. All over the face, all over behind the ear. Everywhere that we put the toner. Just so it doesn't dry out the skin. Just going to re-moisturize the skin. Put on your shoulders and, you know... Get your glow on, get your glow on. And that pretty much sums up the whole entire process. It's really easy and I, you know, very simplified. Um, and that's really it. And there you go. So check out GarnersGarden.com. That's where I order my products. It is a black-owned business. So definitely support them. Support that. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. you guys enjoyed. And yeah, stay fabulous. Again, you can always support Black-owned businesses by going to webuyblack.com. Garner's Garden is where I brought these products. Subscribe to my channel and stay blessed, stay safe. Black Lives Matter.